Your smash burgers suck. What is he doing? This guy can't flip a burger. He call that steak seared? Oh my god, he's ruining the pancakes. I'm sorry, but that bacon doesn't look right. Hey, hey um, um, didn't you say this thing was non-stick? 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 If you're hearing any of these comments or similar from your friends and family after you cook for them, there's a good chance that it means that you own a Pit Boss Sierra Griddle. And if you do, I got some bad news for you. I don't think you're going to be too satisfied down the line. But it wasn't all gloom and doom. As a matter of fact, when I first bought it a year ago, June 4th to be specific, I was quite pleased with it after my first cook, which was a couple smash burgers. But more on that in a minute. Before I had made the purchase, being the cooking noob that I am, I decided to go to YouTube and research the griddles to see what other popular cooks were using and what they recommended. I ended up being on the fence between this one and the Blackstone with the carbon steel top. And because I had never owned a carbon steel griddle, or pan for that matter, I was worried about how to properly season it and rusting issues due to the fact that it would be left outside. Plus, on the Pit Boss website, it said that the griddle was a dream to clean, needing just a gentle wipe after each use. So what's my issue? In short, the non-stick coating didn't really hold up over time. To show you what I'm talking about, let's take a look at how easy it was to flip items like bacon or smash burgers when I first got it here. That looks like five good flips in my book. Take a look at this bacon and notice how easy it slides around. Also notice how there's a little residue from the bacon on the griddle. If I make bacon now on it, it sticks like nothing else I've seen before. So now check out all this gunk that sticks to the griddle. I can assure you that it's going to take more than a gentle wipe to clean this off. Is this what Pit Boss really thinks is a dream to clean? More like a nightmare on Elm Street if you ask me. I would like to say that I always kept it covered when not in use. I never used any metal utensils when I cooked on it. I never cooked anything acidic. And I never cleaned with anything abrasive. Only the soft side of a sponge, paper towels, water, a nylon scraper, and a couple times baking soda. In short, I advise anyone that's watching this not to purchase this product, and if they are in the market for a griddle, to give either a cast iron or carbon steel type. I'm also a little peeved at some of the bigger channels that I was watching that originally influenced my decision to get this griddle. They also had this griddle, and after about a year's time too, I noticed they each had problems with it, and replaced it, and recommended that people still buy it. That's kind of lame, if you ask me. Anyway, I'm moving on and not looking back. And for the time being, I'll be back in the kitchen cooking with the newest addition to our family, this 12-inch cast iron skillet. 